get you some. Oh, yeah. Mate, it's lucky she can cook. G'day lovelies, welcome back. Alrighty, May is still May. <laughs> okay, if you are watching this video, I'm going to be one very happy girl. I have been trying to put videos up lately and the computer keeps crashing on me and I keep losing everything. So, I'm just hoping one of them goes through just so I can get a message out there to you guys. Alright, so I did a twist the other night, an onion twist. And um, when I uploaded the video, it corrupted everything except one photo. I thought, oh, what do I do? So I went on my community page, I put the photo up, and I wrote the recipe and, and how to do it underneath it. Then I went over to Facebook and Instagram and did the same thing. So it's going to take me between four and six weeks before I can get another computer. So in that time, I'm just going to keep making videos, and if they make it through, they make it through. And if they don't, I'm just going to have to put the photos up with the ingredients and how to do it. I'm just going to have to do that until I get a computer. There's not much else I can do. So let's get cracking, eh? Alright, so like I said, I did the onion twist the other night. And today we're going to do garlic and cheese twists. I'll write the recipe below as always. Alright, we need to preheat our ovens to 240 degrees Celsius. We need at least one baking tray with some baking paper. Alright, what you're going to need to do first is put your kettle on. Now we need a saucepan and a bowl that sits in there nicely. Into the bowl we want to put 50 grams of butter. Now you want to put one teaspoon of dry parsley or one tablespoon of fresh parsley. Yum! Now if you don't want to do parsley, you can like, you know, do one with thyme or, you know, like anything that you wanted. You could make switch the flavour to anything that you want. Alright, then I'll do half a teaspoon of onion powder. Now I'm using jar garlic, but you can also um, use fresh garlic. So two heaped teaspoons of jar garlic or two cloves of garlic crushed. Pour our boiling water in to three quarters of the way up. And stick our butter on top to melt. While that's melting down, we want to get out two sheets of frozen puff pastry to thaw. Alright, now while they're thawing out, we want to measure out roughly one cup of shredded or grated cheese. Now normally I use uh, Tasty, but I've only got some of the real pizza cheese, so I'm just going to use that today. But yeah, any cheese grated. And we want to get out some sesame seeds. Now they're optional, you don't have to use them if you don't want. Alright, with a fork we just want to keep mixing it around until it's all melted through together. Alright, the butter's melted and the pastry is three quarters of the way to thawed. So now we just want to do a nice good layer of our butter mix. Like a soup. And now we want to get our cup of cheese and we just want to evenly put that all over. Alright, once we've got it over, just even it out a little bit. Alright, push it down. Alright, now we get our second sheet, pull the plastic off it, put it down. I left the plastic on the bottom one. Move it away from the edge a little bit. Alright, so just go around and push all the edges in. And then just do a gentle push all over the top. Once we've done that, we want to coat the top with the remainder of the melted butter mix. And then optional is some sesame seeds, or your black seeds, or any sort of seeds that you want. Um, if you love nuts and that, you could put a few little crushed nuts over it. But you can just do anything with these, and I probably will. They're cheap and easy, so <laughs> these sort of things that, you know, I'd rather be doing this if the videos don't work. Then like, you know, really long things that I'll take, you know, three, four hours to make a video with. And I'll save them for when the computer's up and running. Alright, now we need a knife. Alright, so what we want to do is cut roughly two centimetre strips. Actually, I don't think I've put enough sesame seeds on that for my liking. Can't see him. <laughs> Probably should put my goggles on. All 
All right, so if you've got, a, I've got a little bit of this stuff left. So if you want, you don't have to, but you can just go over the bits of the twist that haven't got it on them. Waste not, want not. All righty, now our oven's nice and hot. We want to bang them in there. I like to do it one tray at a time and have the shelf in the middle of the oven. Oh my god, mate, the smell up in here is freaking amazing. All right. First batch took 11 minutes in my electric oven. So don't forget everybody's ovens are different. Now we wanted to let them sit there for a few minutes to cool down a bit. So these are best eaten, fresh and warm. So you can see what I mean if you have a big bowl of soup or stew or whatever and a couple of them across there. <laughs> bit fancy. There you go, lovelies. Give them a crack. I'm telling you, you're going to love them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome arvo, and I'll see you soon. Toodles!